Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode, an introduction to scripting for Roblox. So last time we left off, it was about functions, and I said I was going to talk more about functions in probably the next two um, episodes, and this is obviously one of those next two. So today we're going to be talking about arguments and parameters, which in one of my previous videos, as somebody did actually point out already, and I planned on doing it this way, um, I used arguments and parameters interchangeably for one episode, and I didn't do it so much so because that's the correct way to do it. In fact, it's not. It's completely the wrong way to do it. They are not interchangeable terms in the perfect sense. However, I used them that way because I wanted to develop a relationship between the two already. Now, an argument and a parameter are different. Let's just get that across. So, the difference is an argument is like, I'll just show you. So, function, um, multiply by, I don't know. Uh, what's a good example function, guys? Come on, here. Drink. Or no. Drink pop. And then we have pop name. And print. And for those of you who don't know, pop, by the way, is the same as soda or something along those lines. So actually, I'll change it to soda since it's what more people call it. So drink. Soda, soda name, drinking the soda, soda name. Okay, now, let's go ahead and define something. <clears throat> Sorry, let's go ahead and define this. So this is a parameter. This is an argument. And that's really, really confusing because they're supposed to be the same thing, right? Not exactly. Um, a parameter is what you define in the definition of a function or method. Let's keep it to functions because that's what Lua is about. Uh, okay, so a parameter is what is in the definition. An argument is the actual value of like an instance of it. So if we were to go down here and we were to print and we were to do drink soda, Mountain Dew, then this is the argument. And now that this is being used here, this turns this into an argument. Okay, so parameter refers to the definition of what is necessary for a function to run. So parameter refers to what arguments do you need. Okay, so parameter, parameter, parameter is only up here. Now, again, they are often used interchangeably, though that's technically wrong. Parameter is used up here. This is where the parameter is. And then every time parameter is used as an actual thing, not just a requirement, okay? So think of parameter as a requirement and an argument as an actual thing. And argument is kind of a bad word because argument typically means to go against something, but really here it's to go with the uh, parameters okay so parameter parameter though does make sense like here are the parameters for how you need to write your essay or something so here are the things that you need to do to complete this task or need to have to complete this task so the parameter makes sense parameter is listing what needs to be given and then argument is what is given if that makes sense so parameter parameter is what needs to be given argument is what is given okay parameter is what needs to be given argument is what is given so this is a parameter because it is defining what needs to be given and then down here this is an argument because we're assuming at this point when this runs it is already given and this is the official argument so this is the use of the argument and like it uses the name of the parameter but you it's the value of the argument, whereas this is the actual argument, and this is the parameter. So the parameter is the definition, 
and the argument is the um, like value that is given for a parameter. Now, that explains the definition of the two words, but that's not what I'm here to do today. I'm not here to be your walking dictionary. I'm here to give you guys an example of how you can use parameters and arguments to make a function more powerful, okay? So, before we've done things like function hello world, and that would print hello world, right? And then we would do Blah, 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 blah. hello world and it would run and it would print hello world well here let's go ahead and put this above that so down here though we have function drink soda right and then it takes in a parameter like it defines a parameter soda name and then it prints drinking the soda soda name so what will that print when we give it mountain dew as the soda name Hopefully you guys can guess it if I'm but if not then continue watching because that's the whole point. So we're going to run this and we're going to get hello world, which is of course printed normally, and then drinking the soda Mountain Dew. How did that happen? Alright? How did that happen? So this we know. We've already gone over this. It's just printing that. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. How did it know? How did the function know that soda name like when it prints this it should use this how well because with a function or method when you provide an argument the argument takes on the role it becomes essentially the value of a variable named after its parameter so that's the same thing this and this is the same thing as setting low like not in the function sorry that's the same as setting local soda name equals uh, uh, it's not the same thing so actually it, it would be local scope to here so local um, soda name equals Mountain Dew okay so it is local to the function which is why I want it in the function because if we put it outside of the function you guys might have gotten confused and thought oh parameters can be accessed from anywhere no they can only be accessed from within their function code block okay so local soda name equals Mountain Dew print drinking the soda soda name so this is the same thing except since we have it here as a parameter that means anything that calls this function can actually set Mountain Dew or the soda name so we could print Mountain Dew and we could print Dr. Pepper and we could print Pepsi I don't know. I, I'm not a Pepsi fan, so let's actually go with Coca-Cola. Because besides Mountain Dew, I don't like Pepsi products nearly as much as Coke products. I don't like Dr. Pepper at all, but that's besides the point. Um, and Coca-Cola should have a hyphen. Okay, Coca-Cola. Now let's go ahead and run this. And we will see drinking the soda Mountain Dew. Drinking the soda Dr. Pepper. Drinking the soda Coca-Cola. Now, how did that happen? It printed each one differently. Well, it's because it's accepting into its ar into its arguments from the defined parameters. From the defined parameters, it is accepting into its arguments Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, and Coca-Cola, and it changes the value of its argument according to what you put in as the argument. So it takes the arguments you give it, and every time you run the function, the arguments will be different. As long as, well, of course, you give it different arguments, but it's a different set of arguments. The two times of usage of a function, unless it's written in, anyway, we won't get into the um, grammy details, but essentially, the two values of all the arguments of two different instances of using a function are completely unrelated, okay? So they're completely, 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 completely unrelated. Um, so that's how it knew when you pass in Mountain Dew for soda name well then soda name is Mountain Dew and when you pass in Dr. Pepper for soda name well soda name is Dr. Pepper and when you pass in Coca-Cola for soda name then that so then soda name is Coca-Cola and it doesn't even care if it's an actual soda name we could put in um, pumpkin pie and if we ran this 
and let me clear the output. And if we ran this, <clears throat> drinking Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, but it's also drinking the soda pumpkin pie. Even though that doesn't make sense, that's what you fed into it, and it doesn't do any checks. So it still works because it just sees the value. It just takes the value and decides, okay, well, this is what I was given, and since I'm a stupid computer, I'm going to assume that all the information I'm given is correct, and I'll do what I'm told with it, okay? So it just does what it's told with these par these arguments. So here's the parameter, here's the argument given, and here's the use of the argument as defined with the parameter. Hopefully that made sense. If it didn't, please comment below or email me, um, codetheorem at gmail.com, or even better, go join the Roblox group, um, Code Theorem, the name... Sorry about that. Um, the name of it is Code Theorem, and post um, in the like wall comment thing there, and hopefully I'll see it, and then I'll be able to help you out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you all later.